Hello everyone. Uh, today's tutorial, we will talk about one of the very very important aspect of your career that why you choose an embedded system as a career. Very often, whenever I talk to some people that why they should choose embedded system as a career, they often get the question that why, how should I design my career path in the, my embedded system. You know, embedded system is just like other computer science and electronics stream. But it is most of the time, it is mostly misunderstood that embedded system is not only computer science or electronics. It is a combination of them. In the computer uh, embedded system is designed, mostly designed and it is a basically a computer system that is intended to carry out one or more dedicated tasks within a given time frame. This is the requirement of an embedded system. Always we look for an embedded system where tasks are with, can, will be done with the help of some computing constant. This constant are concealed inside a hardware on which it do this work. This is actually called an embedded device. In India, whenever we log, talk, whenever I talk to some people that how you should go for postgraduate and your how you should design your career in embedded system because most of the graduated courses today are talking about either engineer, either computer science, either electronics. So there are a lot of postgraduate system you can go to specialize in the embedded system, which will actually help you to get into the market to tell that you are an embedded engineer instead of telling that you are a computer science engineer or electronics engineer because it is a new stream it is a new dimension in few coming years the embedded system will come to the bachelor degree also it is expected there are few leading colleges in india which offers interested student with postgraduate program in embedded system those candidates who have cleared their bachelor's degree in the related subjects are eligible to apply for the master's code in embedded system. All the India, the All India Engineering ex entrance exam is held or admittance of the students into the postgraduate course in embedded system. The couple of designated courses is available for, available for embedded system. One is the Master of Engineering, VLSI Design and Embedded System. Master of Engineering in Power System Engineering, Master of Technology in VLSI Design and Embedded System, Master of Technology in Electronic System and Communication, Master of Engineering, Microelectronics and Control System, Postgraduate Diploma in VLSI and Embedded System, Postgraduate Diploma in VLSI Design, Postgraduate Diploma in Embedded System Design. The embedded technology sector is presently one of the largest growing areas in the IT sector. As a result, there is huge demand for professionals of this field. The growth of electronics and consumer electronics and the growth of Internet of Things is going to expose huge and demand of the skilled professionals in this field. Candidates who have course their, finished their course in this domain in embedded system can find their jobs in telecom companies and mobile companies in addition to industrial engineering and computer and hardware software developing firms. They can also be deployed in with aerospace companies, medical and electrical electronic equipment, manufacturing firms. The military also hired students of embedded technology. Now it is a very common question that if I join this and if I do this course, if I join, join my job, what will be my expected salary to be? Many leading firms in India and overseas employ research in embedded system. The initial salary of a candidate will be around 2.5 lakh to 6 lakh per annum. Professionals more than 5 to 6 years and more than experience can earn in this field 4.5 lakh to 9.5 lakh per year. The income of the candidates will change on the basis of the qualification and the familiarity in the domain. As the proficiency and the skill of the candidate increase, the salary also will be raised. 
You know, most important thing you need to understand that embedded system is not just programming or just in hard designing hardware. It is incorporating your software into the hardware and making the end product. So the skill set which is expected from an embedded engineer is more than the electronics or computer science engineer. Whenever you look into this direction, we need to understand there are different skill set which is required for becoming an embedded, successful embedded engineer. In the couple of courses we will talk about that what are the skill set and how you can gather those. But this is the basic understanding that you can go for after the graduation, you can go for specialized course for embedded and VLSI to get into the domain into the market. I think that will be a great help for you. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I will come back again later. Thank you very much.